Ever wonder where your RCA section clips or your built-in amplifier runs out of power? No problem. We have an SMD DD1. We're doing radio dynos. Stay tuned. So today's radio is the Alpine ILX107. I know, right? But it's available. We need to do it. Um, the main reason why I want to do this radio is because of the two volt output that everyone is losing their cookies over. I want to see is it a two volt because a lot of yeah. times they say it's two volts and it's like 1.8, 1. 1. it's not two volts. So I want to see is this thing actually two volts? Is it a little more than two volts? What do I you think? I think it's a little bit more than two You think two it's volts. a little bit more than two? Yeah. You mean like three volts? Uh, Being optimistic? No. Go all the way. Fernando's yeah. thinking it's three <laughs> volts. All right for him. No. So, without further ado, you said yes. Here it is, the Radio Dyno ILX107. First test, USB RCA output, 40 hertz. All right, signal is turned up all the way, and we have 2.1 volt output. Let's go into the main menu, go to audio. Go to application volume, go to CarPlay, and let's see if we can turn this up. One, two, two has distortion. We'll turn it back to one. That gives us a 2.3 output. 1000 hertz, USB, RCA output. Max volume, no distortion, 1.9 volts. Let's go ahead and add one. Brings us to a 2.1. Let's add two and two again. You get distortion, clip. We'll go back to one. So at one, we're getting a 2.1 volt output. Auxiliary input, RCA, 40 hertz. 1.4, we'll call it 1.5 output. Let's go into the settings. Application volume, auxiliary, start turning it up. All right, so four it is. At four, there we go. We get up to the 2.3 output. 1000 hertz, aux input, RCA. Ooh, max volume. Clipping. Oh wow. All right. Well, that stinks. So, yeah. So, max volume, we can't do any plus on that. So, that means that's a 34. And we're only going to get two volts of output. 40 hertz. Preamp level output, CarPlay wireless. Maxed out, 2.1 volts. Let's go into the menu, application level, CarPlay, give it one, two distorts. So we're gonna call that 2.3 volts. 1000 hertz, preamp level, wireless CarPlay. Max volume, 2.1. One, ooh, one clips. So we're gonna leave that at 2.1. 40 hertz, USB, deck power. Volume 23 at 8.5 volts of output. 1000 hertz, USB, deck power. 23 at 8.6 volts of output. 40 hertz auxiliary deck power. 24. Yeah, we're gonna call that 24 because this over here isn't, isn't, it's showing clip here, kind of. It's barely glowing, but this is definitely clipping. So we're gonna call it 24 at 8.3 volts of output. 1000 hertz auxiliary deck power. 24 also at 8.5 volts of output. 40 hertz wireless CarPlay deck power. Twenty-three 
at 8.5 volts of output. 1000 hertz, wireless CarPlay, deck power. 23 at 8.6 volts. Yeah, those are some interesting results. So to recap, really what we're looking at is the only thing that was funky on this whole thing was the auxiliary input. Right. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't know anyone who's gonna be using auxiliary input with CarPlay. I mean, the phones don't even have an auxiliary output. No. But the one that was really weird was the auxiliary. We had like 1.5 volts on the 40 hertz mm -hmm. and we could turn it up but then when we played the 1000 hertz, we it couldn't turn it up. As soon as we hit one, it, it clipped. So right. at the end of the day, if you're using aux, you're only gonna get 1.5 volts for the sub at 40 hertz, but you'll get two volts at 1000 hertz. So yeah. Now, the USB and the Wi-Fi or wireless CarPlay, right. yeah. the results were exactly the same, exactly the same. So someone asked, do you think there's a difference between plugging in over the USB or doing it over Wi-Fi? was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this right. test. And there is no difference whatsoever. The they were the exact same results. They clipped at the exact same spot. As far as you hoping to get like three volts of output, no, Alpine is giving you two volts. That's it. Anything past two, two volts? Point... Well, we got 2.1. There you go, I win. All right, all right, so you got 2.1. 2.1. <laughs> uh, it looks like if you're gonna be using deck power, you're gonna wanna be in that 23 to 24 range before it clips, so set gains accordingly. If you're gonna be adding a sub amp, you're definitely gonna wanna turn them up a little bit. Well, this one's in the books. There you guys go. Continue to be angry at the radio for only having a two volt output. <laughs> yeah. And it does have every bit of a two volt output. All right, that's the end of this one. Hope you enjoyed it as usual. Till the next one, you guys have a great night. We'll see you later, bye. All our tests are done using iPhone 6 Plus for consistency. It's not because we want to, it's just a consistent. We've used it in all our tests up to this point. We'll use it all our tests going forward, just so we have a standard in which to go by.